I don't even know which version this is. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, I'm back. So I came back home yesterday and I decided to review, oddly enough, the show that I watched while I was in the hospital, which was Amazon's Jack Ryan. First off, I've actually had Amazon Prime for years now, but I keep forgetting that there is a whole streaming service thing. I even worked on a show that is made by Amazon and I still haven't even watched it. I thought I'd give this a try. I've been very impressed with John Krasinski and I had finished The Office a few months prior, I actually watched it for the first time in its entirety. I actually really got introduced to John after his whole office thing. My first, I think the first time I ever saw him, oddly enough, was in 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. So that's obviously a, a different thing for me. So watching him as Jack Ryan, I have to admit, this is actually probably one of the better castings in a while. I still find it very odd how many times the character Jack Ryan has been reinterpreted. Five different actors in a series of films and television shows that have spanned over almost 30 years. So it's pretty impressive to see how much this character has been reinterpreted considering he's supposed to be just a CIA analyst. Now obviously they've added a little bit of action to the character. I haven't read all of Tom Clancy's novels. I have actually am in the middle of reading some of all fears right now. In terms of how well the character has been represented, I still feel that Harrison Ford's character was the best interpretation of this character. Alec Baldwin's wasn't bad in the Hunt for Red October. Ben Affleck's was all right, but to be honest, I don't even remember that movie as much. And there was a nuke that went off in it. I didn't even bother seeing Chris Pine's version because that was just like, yeah, they just forgot about the whole CIA analyst thing. Yeah, we're just gonna make him a secret agent instead, so I didn't even bother. As for this show with John, I feel this is a different, unique story. I don't know if it has anything to do with any of his novels, but I thought it was kind of an interesting view into his character. It's probably the most in-depth into the Jack Ryan character we've ever gotten in terms of his, his past, his history with the military, and what makes him who he is. I like how he is a smart guy, he is a smart analyst. He is a former Marine, so it explains somehow how he's pretty good in gunfights. Admittedly, a bit too good in my opinion at certain points. I don't know, I think it's that kind of live or die attitude that is established well with his whole PTSD thing. As for the guy who is not playing James Earl Jones, <laughs> his character. Uh, he's actually not too bad. I kept on expecting him to say shit because he looked like that guy from 25th Hour. I admit while the show was shot decently, it was a cool portrayal of the character, admittedly I was kind of bored and I was in hospital. <laughs> I had nothing to do so that kind of says a little bit. There were some cool ideas, there were some cool events that in fact really are retrospective of what is happening currently and in just in the, uh, the past few years. Admittedly, they're also trying to be as close to Tom Clancy in terms of what he was as a novel writer. He wrote some pretty cool, interesting stories, but he also had a hell of a lot of military knowledge because he just researched this. They do drop tidbits of this throughout the show. There are little things here and there that are like, oh, hey, yeah, remember, we're, we're, we're military. Like, this is a military thing you wouldn't know. This is a military thing you wouldn't know. Kind of did enjoy that aspect of it too, but and this might have been affected by the drugs. I actually don't really remember much of this show. It's unfortunate considering the villain starts off as a, you understand his plight, and then he just goes straight over to being a super bad guy. Didn't enjoy that aspect too much. The gunfights in this show were actually pretty brutal. There were some very chaotic sort of scenes and it really kind of made this realistic sort of atmosphere to them. And I'm surprised it got a second season because when I finished it, I was like, I don't see that being renewed. But apparently it had been renewed even before the first season had premiered. So maybe the second one will be a lot better. I see that's going to South America. So maybe they will kind of take on the clear and present danger story or they're just gonna go with one of their own stories again. In the end, I'm gonna give Jack Ryan a four out of seven. It's an enjoyable show, it was well put together. I'll give it that, I just didn't remember much of it, but that could be equated to all the pain meds I was on. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, I just wanted to review it because it was the only thing I watched while I was in the hospital, amongst other things I kept falling asleep to. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the Click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well...
Couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.